Good morning. This is Pastor Tim Wells, pastor of Cross of Christ Lutheran Church in Aurora, Nebraska. Today will be the last devotion that I record during the season of Lent. The next time we have a video posted will be for Palm Sunday, and that will get us into Holy Week. During this season, during the season of Lent, we've been reflecting on our sins. We've been reflecting on our need for a Savior. And we've been reflecting on our Savior. To close off this season, I want to share some scripture with you. And I want to give you time simply to ponder these words and think about them. This is where Jesus tells us that he is the vine. We are the branches. And he's going to tell us that we need to abide in him, live in him. Think about, meditate on what does it mean, what does it look like to live in Christ as we close off this Lenten season. From John 15, beginning with verse 1. I am the true vine and my father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit he takes away. Every branch that does bear fruit he prunes that it may bear more fruit. Already you are clean because of the word that I have spoken to you. Abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever abides in me and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not abide in me, he is thrown away like a branch and withers, and the branches are gathered, thrown into the fire, and burned. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. By this my Father is glorified that you bear much fruit, and so prove to be my disciples. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments, and abide in his love. These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be full. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, that someone lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. No longer do I call you servants, for the servant does not know what his master is doing, but I have called you friends. For all that I have heard from my Father, I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should abide so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give it to you. These things I command you, that you will love one another. I pray that you'll take the time to reflect on these words further. And if you want to pick up your own Bible to look at those words and examine them, it's John 15, verses 1 through 17. And again, let's reflect on what does it mean, what does it look like to abide in Jesus, to live in him, and for him to live in us. Let's pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for your Son, our Savior. As we close off the season of Lent and prepare for the start of Holy Week this Sunday, Lord, we pray that you would guide us as we reflect on what it means, what it looks like to abide in your Son and for him to abide, to live in us. Teach us, Lord, always to abide in you through your word. Teach us, Lord, always to trust in you, to love you, to serve you. Teach us, Lord, as we abide in you, to love one another. 
as you have loved us. In your name we pray. Amen. Pray God's blessings on your weekend. I hope to see you all this Sunday, Palm Sunday, as we begin Holy Week. Amen.